and it is time for another real world test video. I have the Rode NTSF1 that I already used a lot in the US, in Colorado. I did not use it on the Camino. If you have watched one of our previous videos, what equipment I'm going to bring on the Camino. The reason why is something that I will explain later in this video. But first, let's record some sounds and let's listen to the audio coming from the Rode NTSF1. Let's just record a soundscape here in this area. Wherever I go, whichever city I go in the world, I always try to find locations like that, that are more local, not too many tourists, and that are more quiet, where the soundscape or the ambience is further away. And having high quality microphones, that's great, because then you don't have so much noise. Now on the other side, if you use low quality microphones, you might get a little bit too much noise. This microphone is about a thousand dollar, what is a lot of money. And let's just give it a try and see how it performs in a soundscape like this. The Nanopole is just my go-to Nanopole, the carbon version. I use it for the DMS, I use it for the ORTF, and I also use it for the ambisonic microphone because it's, it's just so easy, no? Tuck and tuck together with the right cord, then I can just click it in here and then it is already stable. Then we're using a Zoom F6 for this. I don't use the sound devices because I don't have the extra plug-in. If you have a sound device and you want to record ambisonic sound, there are two options. You can either just link all four channels and then you have to make sure that everything is on the right levels or you just pay for the plug-in. This is already included with the Zoom F6. Now this is great with the Zoom F6. It has all four channels. This is a little snug to put it in here. So it's a little harder. Tuck. Then we have no wind, so this is great. Then you see the microphone is right in here. I do have something from the Zoom H3 VR. This is something that you can do too if you have an H3 VR. It's this here. You know, if there's like absolutely no wind, then you can also put this foam uh, here over and it fits perfectly fine if you want to do that. We don't need this here. Just want to show you this, that you can use one of these foams. And you have a little bit more wind protection. But here, there's no wind, so we are fine. I'm using the power bank from Anchor. I had them on the Camino. It's fantastic. The sound device of the Zoom F6, they run forever on, on these uh, power banks. Now I just want to mention, if you use the Zoom F6 with the Rode Ambisonic microphone, make sure that when you go to recording that you have it on 96 kHz, 192 won't work on Ambisonic sound. And then you click on input. And there's also something that I would like to mention. If you go to the input link and you have Ambisonic sound selected, now what we have, we have it upright, right? So then you have to go into the settings and you have to make sure that your format is either MBX or FUMA, whatever you want to record, but that also your mic position is upright. You have different options. You can also do upside down and end fire. So then make sure every time when you use this microphone and you want to change the position of it, that you also change it here in your Zoom F6. Now, before we start listening, I also have my headphone routing that channel one and channel three is left and channel two and channel four is right. Okay, now let's listen. I think it sounds pretty nice. We have everything. We have a little bit of an air condition. I can also hear like the humming of a light. We have the people in the distance. So it's a, it's a great microphone that performs in an environment like this. I don't know how it performs in a very quiet forest. So that's something that I'm probably also going to try out in the future. What I 
looking forward on the microphone is always that it does not have any kind of interference. This is a good spot because there's a lot of electronic stuff going on around, so there's no interference on that microphone. I also tested in other areas. I have one, a Rode NTG, that gave me a little bit of interference in some certain areas, so that wasn't so pleasant. But with this, I don't have any problems. What I don't recommend and what I just do right now is don't use a jacket like this, because these jackets creating a lot of noise to so make sure that you wear clothing that don't create any kind of noise. Um, this, for example, is a great shirt, but not with this jacket. So now let's see what else we can find here in Granada. And we made it here in front of the Cathedral de Granada. Beautiful soundscape, a lot of people. A lot of people are going inside. Now we have this little marketplace. We have coffees here, and that's what we're going to record. We're recording this soundscape here in this beautiful area. Okay, we got this recording, now let's move on to the next location. We are in a new location. If you watched the Memories of Alhambra, you might recognize this house here behind me because one of the scenes got filmed here in this location and that's what we're going to record Yes, of course we have a little bit more tourists now it's Sunday and it's middle of the day but if you want to record these sounds very quiet then I would highly recommend you coming really early in the morning or late at night now let's just listen through the Rode microphone how it sounds like in ambisonic sound You might notice a little bit of wind noise or wind pressure on the microphone capsule and that's because we are in this small side street and I should remember always when there is a little bit of wind that these side streets can also create a wind tunnel. So it is better to have it always on you. You can always stop the recording, then you put on the wind protection, then you start the recording. It's way better and way easier than to say later on you want to clean it out and imagine you only have like 15 seconds of a three minute recording. You don't want to clean up the whole recording because of this particular part. So that's why I mostly oftentimes just stop the recording and then I put on the wind protection and then I just start with a new recording. Now let's pack up and find another film location that played in the memories of Alhambra and record the ambience over there.
for the last two hours we tried to go to the other film locations we've been there but can't record sounds because there are lots of tourists but it's not a problem the biggest problem is music and we don't want to record this everybody who records sounds know especially if you want to record sounds and they play music it's a big no-no you can't record this you shouldn't and that's why we're closing the chapter here in granada and we go to a different location to record more sounds with the rode ntsf1 All right, I found another great location, but before we starting with the last recording, just let me take off this jacket because it is so hot and humid here in Bangkok. Now, while I'm setting this up, let me really quick explain why I didn't bring it on the Camino. And the reason is wind protection. The fur here does not give me the satisfaction that the Rykoat gives me or also the Sinella. Great sound, we're here on the rooftop of our apartment and that's what we're going to record. We record the city soundscape from above and then we listen how it sounds like through this microphone. Wow, Bangkok is just such a mega city and you can really hear this because it is just so incredibly noisy and recording a soundscape like this from a rooftop, for me, I love it. Uh, yeah, you can find out for yourself. Do you like the sound recordings? Let me know in the comments down below. We going out here in Bangkok and record way more sounds with other microphones, but with this one as well. So thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you in our next video here from Bangkok. Thank you.